Oh, you bunch of fucking dickwads. Well, I guess I timed it right. I told Chuck, he asked me how long it takes me to get home. I said, two GoPros and starting with the uh, uh, drift. So I just plugged in the drift and here we go. Oh geez, Granny, don't run me over. Please? Please? God, that would scratch your car that you've had for... Uh, 82? 82, 92, 2002? For 31 years? Yeah, I'm about 20, 22 miles out now. Started off bitching it was cold. That's my own fault. Because I didn't bring my liners with me today for this, this trip. Looked at the week out forecast and it was 70s and 80s. I'm like, I'm not bringing that. So I've been wearing my 661 padded shorts underneath my uh, riding gear. have any long pants with me or anything. Which I don't really care. I wear my riding gear every day. It doesn't... That's what I do. It's comfortable enough. Plus I'm on and off the bike, 17 miles. Yeah, plus I'm on and off the bike so much that, you know, the one time I got lazy and didn't actually put it on is the day I'd get, I'd get crashed.
Stop, dude. Stop. The NTH ready for a beer. How about you all? Let's bring her in hot. We're ready for some beers. Sure turned out beautiful. God damn it, one more time I see that sign, I'm gonna get a picture of it. This is a National Scenic Highway, believe it or not. So I don't know. I don't know if you guys consider this scenic or not. It's a good motorcycle road. The turns aren't real tight, but you know, anything better than flat straight and boring what I normally ride on. is right there. Yay! I got the picture. I don't know why they consider this so scenic, but what the hell do I know? <laughs> 